YouTube, it's me again, it's Jelanda, and I'm coming to you with Subby Sunday. Subby, Subby Sunday, Subby, Subby Sunday. And it is the Sunday, or it's the Saturday before Thanksgiving, and I am feverishly, is it feverishly? Feverishly getting ready for Thanksgiving, and I think I've warned everybody on just about every video. Why am I so close to the camera? On just about every, I feel like I need to scoop back, but I'm right by the window and I wanna be a little bit close. Um, and I've been warning everybody on every video that I may not be keeping up with my schedule, but I think I might actually be able to do it. <laughs> so anyway, I am recording videos for next week. Maybe it's gonna be the following week that I'll have problems with. But anyway, re let's relax a little bit over the holiday season, November, December. Wednesday, Friday, Sunday may not happen, might happen. We'll try to make it happen. You know, we're just going to do the best that we can, right? So I wanna unbag a item that I got from Just Fab. As you guys might know by now, I did decide to keep those over the knee boots. Once I tried them on last week with those items that I received or that I exchanged at the clothing exchange, I started thinking, you know what? These are actually are some pretty cute boots. And I wore them yesterday and um, you'll see if I've, I think I shot a, um, yeah, I shot an outfit of the day with them on. So maybe that'll go up before this. So anyhow, I wore them and they were comfortable and I liked them and it's raining and it's just, they're just a great boot to have and to wear when the weather is like this. Um, oh, that lighting is much better when it's not so bright. I'm trying to figure out, anyway, I'm not unfussed with the lights right now or the sun or the lack of sun or I'm not doing it today. I'm going to just dig right in. I wanna do some shout outs really quick and then I'm gonna let you guys get on with the rest of your day. This isn't gonna be a long subby Sunday because, oh, uh, because I'm busy and you guys are busy, so if I'm busy recording videos, who's gonna really have a lot of time to watch a lot of videos? Probably not many of us. So I'm just gonna quickly just go through and just say what's up to a few of you guys and then I'm gonna show you the bag that I got. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. And let you get on with the rest of your day. So Cranky Grandma, she wants me to talk um, she uh, she loved my last Faith Friday. Thank you, Cranky Cat Grandma. I like her support. I really appreciate. I appreciate everybody who um, who watches my Faith Friday videos and you know just people at Faith who respond back, encourage me, um, and um, just encourage me to continue to grow and develop as a believer. So I really appreciate that. Connie H, I'm, I'm finding it really fun that people will go back and somehow they'll see like really old videos. She was commenting on a video that I did on Avon Perfume many, many, many months ago, maybe four or five months ago. And she is getting the Avon Infinity fragrance and I'm excited for her because that smells so good. Layla's Lovely Picks. Um, she's a new, well, she says she's been a subscriber for a long time, but she finally commented. And so thank you, Layla, for your uh, comment. I appreciate it. I'm kind of like, uh, she shouldn't have shared that one. And I look so rough and I was coming back from the gym, but you know what? Whatever. I am what I am. Okay. People at the gym saw me looking like that. So what difference does it make if all your Facebook friends see me looking like that? Talk Fashion TV. Again, I gotta get to see some of her videos. Keeping it simple with Bridges, My Way. My Way, when are we gonna do another collaboration? I think we should do one. Nikki Nick 26, Pages and Polish, Hearts to You Two Girlfriend, Candace, or as you guys may know, CEC Nurse One. Hi, what's up, girl? Um, I, I sang a little bit on my last Faith Friday, and you guys, that was a really huge step outside of the box for me because. I'm shy, believe it or not, especially when it comes to my singing. And that was a huge step out, out of the box for me. And then that video, after I posted it, one of the first people who watched it or whatever gave it a thumbs down. And I was like, dang, did they thumbs down because they didn't like the content or is my singing really horrible? But um, thank you for those others who actually provided me with some written feedback and some thumbs up and let me know that, that you did like it. And I was really shy about doing that, but I'm gonna continue to do that. I'll probably do more singing because I feel like it's a gift that I've been given and I need to utilize it and I need to continue to step outside of my comfort zone because that's really what having this channel has been about for me is really stepping outside of my comfort zone and 
being out there and sharing who I am with the world and being confident about that. So thank you for your encouragement. And even if you don't like, you don't like it. And I mean, that's part of being confident. You have to be able to understand um, that not everybody's going to like you. Not everybody's going to like your gifts. Not everybody's going to like what you have to say, but you have to like it. <laughs> so I like it and I'm going to keep doing it. And I think if you have something that you want to share and you like it and you have confidence about it, then share. It doesn't matter what other people think, right? Because people are always going to have their opinions. Bold Creations, Shirley Smith, V-S-E-V-T. Hey, Toki Epris, Lady B. Lady B said I could, she and I could do a Christmas party together <laughs> if we ever had. She, she said she would love that. So Lady B, let's do, let's do a Christmas party. Maybe next year. Let's do it. Laura O'Connor, hi, how have you been doing? Um, small town girl. Faye Blatcher, Mandy Bunn, hey, what's up? Danielle Stuller, Beauty B, Southern Male, Classy Chick. Again, I love that name. Kina K, I've just subscribed to her channel. She is, um, she just did a new trailer for her channel and I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. I need to do a trailer for my channel. Maybe I'll sing a trailer for my channel. Yeah. I need, a, I need um, some musicians. I need some people to like back me up. I need a backup. I need a backup band or something. I, maybe I can get my hands on some of those... Um, What's that uh, that audio that they that's just the instrumentals? Maybe I can get my hands on instrumentals and then I can sing over the top of them because it's really hard to sing a cappella. And that was the other thing. It was like, well, you might have given me a thumbs down. And you might not like my singing. I don't know if they didn't like my singing, but it's like, hey, a cappella is very hard. You know, you don't have the piano behind you helping you, giving you the key that you need to sing in. You have to have it inside. Okay, that's talent. That's talent, people. <laughs> Courtney and Carly, Cara McNulty, Sharon Williams. I think I shouted these people out last week. I think. Ma Fay, Beth Hastings, Jennifer Grant. Yeah, I think I shouted all these folks out last week. So it's only been, yeah, well, it's been almost a week since uh, my last shout out, my last Sebby Sunday. So those are, oh yeah, those, yeah, those are, um, oh, you guys, my, yes, yeah, Subby Sunday will go up tomorrow the one that um, is the clothing exchange. So people haven't seen that one yet. You guys are gonna flip out when you see everything that I got at that clothing exchange. It is crazy good. So I did order a bag from Just Fab, and it is a travel bag because I'm gonna be traveling. One of the things I'm doing for Thanksgiving, sorry about the rattling, is I am staying the night at a girlfriend's house. We're gonna kinda do like a waiting to exhale sort of uh, Thanksgiving, like single ladies day Thanksgiving. And if you've never seen the movie Waiting to Excel, it's a really good movie. Um, just about women transitioning in different stages of life. Maybe we'll watch it while, while we're there. So I'm doing some cooking and I'm gonna spend the night and we're just gonna hang out and just have a good time. And so I'm excited about that. So um, my old overnight bag or my weekend bag kind of went kaput on my last trip. And this one I think is a little bit classier. It is called, let's see if I can find out what it's called. I don't think I ever put the names of anything on these tags. Just bad people. I need you guys to put the names of the items on them. Oh, okay, <laughs> they did. So it's called the Tote JAF Weekender Bag and it's in the color sand. And of course it's one size, that's all. And um, yeah, so my other Weekender bag went kaput and if it's big enough, I might even take this bag to Hawaii. I am a very, very fruit, um, efficient packer. I know how to get a lot of outfits out of a few items. I don't pack every pair of shoes that I own. I'm pretty good about keeping it streamlined, but I don't think I can keep it this streamlined just from looking at it. Whoops, it's a little small, but you guys, it's beautiful. Let's see if I can move back a little bit. It is pretty. Look at this bag, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. And it is gorgeous. I'll leave the dimensions and a link to the just Fab website for this bag in the description box. But the re other reason why I purchased this bag is because Just Fab was having a 
a sale like seven days of giving a couple weeks ago and one of the days all totes were twenty dollars so they're normally $39.99 up to about $42.95 and on this particular day they were $20 and so I had my eye on this one for a while but it was like it was it was because it's a bigger luggage sort of a bag it was at the higher end of the price point and I was like man I'll wait and I kept waiting and waiting paid off because it went on sale for $20. Look how huge it is. I mean, it's big. And it also has a crossbody strap. So let me find that, which I also thought was fantastic. So here is the crossbody strap. And maybe I'll do a little bit of a try on so you can see how big it is in, at the end. And I'll also kind of, I'll step it back up with all of this, all of this goodness so you can kind of get a sense of the size of it. But this is a nice bag and look at the handles. They don't have that um, black stuff on the ends of them. So it looks really good and it actually really mimics real leather very well. And it is that color, they say it's sand, but it's more of a, Cognac color, that cognac color that, and I have shoes and boots that are this color, so it's gonna look really good with all of that stuff. And I appreciate the fact that it has this crossbody strap where you can hang, you can hang it on your shoulder. And um, yeah, you guys, I love it. I feel like for twenty dollars, this was a great deal, and it's actually a really good deal for forty something dollars, just because it feels so good. The stitching looks like it's reinforced, so it's gonna do well. The inside, there's a zipper pocket on one side and then there's a, a open pocket on the other. And it says just fab on the inside. The hardware is gold. And again, I will leave uh, the dimensions for this bag in the description box and a link to the just fab website. It also has this little luggage tag and I'm gonna stuff it and I'm gonna show, it what, show you what it looks like and then I'm gonna send you guys on with the rest of your day. This is a short subby Sunday, but hey, we got a lot covered and I know you guys have a lot going on. You're probably out shopping for Christmas at this point. But um, again, I will do my best to keep the videos coming, keep your comments coming, your questions coming. I love interacting with you guys below. And those of you who do have channels, I love watching your videos, and so I squeeze that in whenever I can. But until next time, stay tuned, stay positive, stay on budget. Just Fab is fabulous, you guys. I don't care what you heard, it's fabulous, especially when you get a bag like this for $20. So it is Sunday, and um, yeah. Let's go forth and be fabulous. I'll talk to you guys later and I'll show you what this bag looks like. Okay, I stuffed two full, two uh, throw pillows into it and it's still, there's still room for more stuff. Like I could stuff this even more. I probably could stuff three throw pillows. Let me take this big sweater off. It's kind of chilly today, so cozied up. But look how big this bag is, you guys. It's huge. I don't think it's big enough for um, seven days in Hawaii. I wish it was though. I might, I might try to make it work, honestly. Um, Cause I'm just gonna be wearing flip flops and different things like that. So this is the size of the bag. Here it is from the front. And again, there's still lots, plenty of room in it. The only concern is that it'll get really heavy. Um, but you guys, I might try it. I might just try it for kicks and giggles and see if I can get everything in here. Wouldn't that be amazing? But it'll for sure work for an overnight or a weekend bag. And um, I'm looking forward to wearing it, um, or at least using it next week when I have an overnighter with my girlfriend, Christina. All right, so that's it. Oh, and I didn't show you guys this part. It's got cushiony strap cushion on the strap. So that is fabulous. I mean, it looks luxe, right? It looks expensive. It's, it's fabulous. Okay. Enough gushing about the bag. Talk to you guys later. Bye.